Hey, so this is Katie, and um, I cast on my first sock here with one end of my yarn, and now I'm going to take the other end, so from the second ball or whatever you're working with, and now I'm going to do the same cast on again, and I'm just going to move my stitches a little over to the right, and then I'm going to start with my same amount of tail as I had before, and wrapping that stitch around your back needle for your initial cast on and then going and adding your your Judy's magic here um, you'll want to cast on about 12 on each needle for each sock so 24 stitches per sock is what you would like to do and I'm gonna do that and show you what to do here I like this yarn because you can really see where the uh, stitches are because of the different colors. That one's really nice and tight. And you do one more. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I have both ready on my on my needles. I'm gonna turn it to my left hand ready to knit. I'm going to pull that bottom needle or the one that's closest to my body I'm going to lock that first stitch down like with our tail like we talked about before and then I'm going to knit across the second sock you cast on In the first round you're just going to knit. There's no increases on the first round. It will be a little tight. It's going to be okay. That's pretty normal. You want it to be nice and tight. It makes a prettier sock toe. Okay. Once I finish with that first one, I'm just going to move it down to the right. And I'm going to work the top side of the first sock that I cast on. Again, I'm going to lock down that stitch, that very first stitch, and then I'm going to knit across. And I am using continental style of knitting, so that's why it looks a little different. If you're not a continental knitter, it's okay. It's the exact same process if you're an English knitter. Okay, once you get to the end of that one, you have two socks going. Each one has its own working yarn, okay? You're going to turn it and put it back in your left hand. Remember, find your work last stitch that you worked. We don't want to work that one anymore. We're going to load our new stitches onto the needle. And then we're going to have to work onto a new needle, so we need to pull the ones that we just worked with. So we're going to pull the needle out of those, sliding them onto the cable. Now remember, with this one, you're going to work across the back. And the first stitch you're going to knit normally. And the rest we're going to untwist by knitting through the back loop. And this is on sock B. This is the first sock that we cast on, or sock B, if we're keeping track for later. All the way across here. It's okay if it's tight, like I said, it's totally normal. Kind of want it to be that way. There's the very top of the toe. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move over to sock A. So I'm going to push sock B down to the right a little bit. Push sock A up to the tip of the needle. And I'm going to work the 
second side of sock B of sock A. So I'm gonna knit through normally for the first stitch, keeping it the twist it is right now, and now I'm gonna untwist the others by knitting through the back loop on this first round only. Remember that's the second side of the first round you knit through the back loop to untwist your Judy's Magic Cast On. Once you finish this side, you'll be able to tell exactly where everything's at. All right, so I just finished that. That's my right needle now, and I'm gonna turn it around just like I have been doing with Magic Loop to keep going. We Remember when you practiced, you loaded both needles up so that you were ready to knit whatever you need to knit. If you're gonna take a break, then you can pull the needles out the side where your your cast on your tail yarn is that's going to be sock A because this is the first one so you completed a full round on sock A and on sock B so sock A sock B so now you're ready to start your increases for your toe all right well good luck <laughs>